this is an invasive snake, the Burmese python. The Burmese python! Animal adventuring is oftentimes a complex balance of luck, skill, and persistence. To find wildlife, one must have an understanding of the target species' behavior, how weather conditions could affect that behavior, and be out in the field long enough for luck to eventually place the creature that you were looking for in the same location that you were searching. When all three of these things line up, you have a successful creature encounter. This definitely happened when the crew and I found this massive 10-foot Burmese python just outside Everglades National Park. To catch the reptile and safely present it to the camera, I distracted it using my hat, then grabbed it behind the head and the wrestling match began. That is the Burmese python, the most well-known Besides American Alligator, animal in the Everglades, look how ridiculously big this awesome animal is. Now, oh my gosh, he says, Ben, I would love to take a chunk out of you. And believe me, he would take a chunk out of me if he could. Now, he is musking all over me. This is an insane creature encounter, guys. Now, the Burmese python is not native to the Florida Everglades. The Burmese python is an invasive species of snake which originated in Burma, of course. That's why they got their name, the Burmese Python. Now, they actually came to the Everglades through the pet trade. The pet trade is one of the ways that many of the invasive species of snakes got here in the Everglades. Uh, it's not only just snakes, also uh, things like the tokay gecko, or the, the uh, green iguanas, or spiny tail iguanas. Those are all invasive species. Now, this is by far the most well-known invasive species we could have found here in the Everglades. This rivals the American alligator as the king of the swamp. But the interesting thing about the Burmese python is that as an invasive species, they actually compete with the American alligator for their food sources. So a Burmese python will prey on things like raccoons, it'll prey on nutria, beaver, uh, smaller reptiles, of course they will eat lizards and things like that. These also prey on things as large as deer. Now this is a massive individual. This snake probably weighs 15 to 20 pounds, maybe more than that. Um, I've never worked with a snake this big or any other reptile this big. This is maybe the most incredible creature encounter I've ever had for sure. This is awesome. Now as a snake person, a Burmese python, he's trying to get his head away from my hand. A Burmese python, a Burmese python is one of the most incredible snakes in the world. Um, these guys are of course constrictors and you see he has insanely strong coils. And what they do is they use this mouth. Let's get a, all right, come up here to the mouth. Let's get a shot of that. Now in there, he doesn't have very big teeth, but he has lots of teeth and they're curved and they're needle sharp, all right? Now these curved needle sharp teeth will stick into any prey them they tackle. So they'll bite it first. He's cutting out the circulation of my arm over here. This is a really powerful reptile. I can't tell you. Uh, how powerful they are. So basically what these guys do, he couldn't kill something as big as me. This one is not quite big enough to get like a deer or anything like that. This one is big enough to maybe get like small alligators. They do prey on smaller alligators, but larger alligators prey on them. You good? Nice Rolling again? All right, now let me show you just how long this snake is. Look at that. This snake oh, is obviously the biggest snake we've ever found on this channel. The biggest snake I've ever had in my life. These aren't popular pets. Obviously you can see why they're not great pets. Because once they get to this size, they could easily eat your cat or dog, and they would potentially even attack you. Now I'm in no danger of getting constricted as long as I have his mouth like that. You see, once he gets that mouth on, he can really use that as a leverage point to wrap these big muscly coils around. But until he has that leverage point, he really can't do much constricting. So this is definitely a pretty deadly top predator here in the Everglades, albeit an invasive one, and it is definitely the most unique creature encounter that I've ever had in my life and probably will ever have again. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the Burmese Python. Let's release it. 
really I, I should remove the snake from the wild but I have no means to do that and we don't have the time to do that right now so I'll probably just contact my Florida Fish and Wildlife Officer and, and alert them that there are Burmese pythons in this area so that is all for today's episode guys this was an awesome reptile encounter while this species of reptile does not belong in the Everglades it is still an incredible snake definitely the coolest creature encounter I could have ever asked for so I'm just gonna let go of its head and I guarantee you it'll just kill yep we go right back to Sunny. He said, Stay away from me, please. Naturally. Oh, you just slipped right back in there. Guys, that was awesome. I had, like, oh, I'm bursting right now. The, the, I mean, the Burmese python is the biggest snake in North America. It's only found here in the Everglades. This is the last day, like, literally the last hour we have to hike here. We have a flight to catch in like no time at all. This thing of course must all over me before the plane. But that was the awesomest, awesomest? That was the most incredible creature encounter I've ever had. I want to thank you all for, jo for joining me on this awesome adventure. Uh, I will link the info, about more info about these snakes in the description. Because you should educate yourself about why they are damaging the Everglades ecosystem. And uh, that's all for this episode guys. Thank you all for watching. Uh, if you enjoy this video, please check out my other content below. I make videos about all kinds of different animals, both out here in the Everglades and all up and down the East Coast and across the U.S. So uh, that's all for today's video. Please like and comment what you thought and subscribe to my channel for more awesome wildlife content. This is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.